This week on Momo and Louie, we got the Nero 100K. Make sure to tap in. Tap in means together, all people network. Okay, shit, man. Real quick, man. Just want to shout out the boy Louie. Moment with Louie, real quick, man. Out here interviewing the boy and shout out to Chula Vista. Do not go shop. You know what it is, the 100K shit. You dig? So, how did you get your name? So, trip out. The way I got my name was at the age of 10 years old, I was always making bread. I really, at 10 years old, I was doing what I was doing, whatever, you know what I'm saying? But that's how I got my name. So, people started calling me Nero after, you know, so and so. Little bit of flexing, little, little, yeah. little, little, you know what it is. I know yeah. young shit, reckless, you know, trying to flex a little here, man. So that's what it was. So everybody started coming with me out on shit after that, and I just ran with it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what made you start wanting to do comedy? So the comedy dog, it was always in us. Like a lot of homies out here, they try to act like we out here just on some bullshit. But if you really get to know a homie, motherfucker, you got some humor in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So motherfucker be bullshit. Get your ass away, bro. You got your talent shine. Who the fuck with? Ugly ass dude. But like I said, we all got that humor in us, man. So we just started fucking around, and we just decided to put it behind the camera, bro. So that's how it happened. That's right. Do you prefer doing comedy or music? Shit, bro. A little bit of both, dog. I mean, the comedy it just come natural. You feel me? I'm just I just fuck around 24 seven, period. But the whole music shit, I mean, I gotta get that bag, dog. Hey, you did. Like they said, one millionaire don't have one source of income, my boy. So, you got know what got, saying? got at least seven. You know what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm saying? Seven figures too. What are some more business ventures that you want to branch out to? Because I see you got your beer, you got your merch. Yeah, so, you feel me? Yeah, right yeah, here, you did. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 100K shit, boy. You know what I'm saying? 100K shit right there. You feel me? Show them the back. Show them the back. Hey, hey, hey. Pop your shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Real dreams, 100K shit. Yeah, hey, dog, I'm just trying to branch out the, you know what I'm saying? Because it's a brand. It's not just it's not just a little logo. It's not just, you know what I'm saying? It's a brand that I'm trying to franchise. It's your lifestyle. Yeah, bro. So I'm trying to get into the weed. You know I'm saying I got the homie. Hey, that's right. That's right. I got some shit, dog. Uh, some little exclusive shit. The homie Lidos. We popping out with some TAC pins and shit, dog. So, yeah. Hey, stay tuned for those, dog. You're going to come in. Some 100K Lidos. So, uh, what are some features that we can look forward to in the music? Features? I mean, this boy Duda keep playing, dog. He be telling me, let's do woo woo, let's do woo woo. But, I mean, I had a couple of homies tap in and shit, a couple of features. I mean, I'm not gonna speak on it until it happens, but you guys yeah. see it, you know what I mean? Hell yeah. So, so, I seen you make your movie, uh, Cholo Zombie. Can we look forward to another movie anytime soon? Oh, yeah, yeah. We just dropped the second one, too, called Sancho Club. You guys gotta go tap in with that one. Where can we watch it at? Because I was having trouble finding it. Okay, so, uh, all you gotta really look up if you go to Google, we'll just even on the regular hurl, tap into the cholozombies.com or, or uh, uh, sancho.com too, they'll pop up right there, you know? Okay. You get random, buy them, fuck it, whatever you want to do, just go support the communication, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they tap in. Yeah. So what made you want to start selling beer? I know we all drink it, but what uh, brought hey, you to the next level? Like you said, we all drink it, my boy. <laughs> yeah. It's some good ass beer, man. Yeah, yeah it tastes good as fuck. A couple homies that we did a, we did a release. I mean, it's a little, it, it's sad, but it's good, but we sold out of these motherfuckers, man. We sold out everything. I took them on stores. The homie through that, just bought the last five cases that I had for myself, shit, but we sold out, but second batch might come in, man, so you guys stay tuned yeah, yeah. with that, too, you feel me? How did you tap in with, uh... Thug beer thug life. Okay, beer thug life. So, um, so the way that happened was the boy he actually ended up uh, uh, doing a cholo zombie beer for the premiere. Oh, okay. And then once we did that, uh, the beer was it was doing the right. It wasn't doing the most, but then he put in a little hundred K stamp in the back of the labels right here. Yeah. He put a little hundred K stamp, and I was like, hey, you know what? Go do my shit. That's like kind of my first little signature beer type shit, little stamp. And that shit got over a hundred sales in a day. So. He seen the numbers and he was like, hey bro, you gotta make your own beer and shit. And that's how that happened, bro. Now this shit bitch, this bitch right here, now it's so loud. You feel me? You dig. Yeah, I, see, I see you giving away beer and uh, TJ, yeah, what yeah. made you want to start doing that? So a lot of the times, bro, it's like uh, we, we take we take a lot of shit for granted, man, out here in the US, not to, not to speak down on our state, but it's a land of opportunity, bro. We got Medicare. we got fucking insurances and shit. If you go to TJ, my boy, if you burn your house down, that shit ain't gonna do nothing, you feel me? Like, you just lose your house, period. So, it's just a little humbling experience and shit to fucking, you know, see people that don't really got a lot. So, I wanted to get back to my people, you feel me? That's our roots, that's, that's our culture. Yeah, bro. So, Hispanic, dog, I'm always support Rasa, for real Rasa, you know? So, uh, what comedy collabs can we see you partaking? Oh, man, we about to go to Atlanta, man. Me and Woo! the boy Duna, we going to Atlanta. We might fuck around with the homie Robbie Bro, Young Jock. Yeah, dude. A couple other influencers and rappers and shit. So, we're going to be out there next week, the 18th to the 21st, man. So, we're going to be out there. You're going to see some shit. Stay sure. tuned. It's going to be a movie, you yeah, did. Yes, sir. <laughs> Big movie shit. Honey K shit, bro. For sure. And if you could tell the people something about yourself that they don't already know, what would you tell them? Honestly, man, stay driven. Keep your drive, man. Stay humble. And don't give a fuck about what nobody say, man. Because as long as you're doing your shit, 
ain't nobody gonna be there when you down or whether you up, but you only gonna be there, so you gotta make it for yourself. You know what I'm saying? You gotta keep that shit 100K, and that's what it is. 100K. You feel me? I appreciate you tapping yes, in, tapping in, means to get all people networking, and that's how we get down. You, you know, 